What is going on guys and today I'm going to be running you through another best possible squad on this channel. Today's squad is going to be a best possible Scotland squad laddies. Now I'm going to do this just because I didn't think these videos were going to get that many views and that much support on them but recently I don't know if you guys have been watching or if you're a new viewer um, but some of my videos have started getting quite a few views recently. I'm talking 800 views, 600 views for a small channel. It's really, really good to see and really, really supportive and helps me want to do more. Um, so thank you very much if you were a viewer on those past videos. If you've not viewed them, what are you doing? Go and view them after this video. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for your support if you have been supporting. And if you have any leagues, nations or clubs that you want to see me build a best possible squad of, then get them down in the comment section below. And whilst you're down there, if you can, drop a like on this video. Um, and even if it is possible, get a subscribe connection by clicking that button down below and becoming a partner for life to this channel. Um, which sounds quite dedicating and quite, you know, full on. But if you do it, then, oh my gosh, you'll make me the happiest little Easter bunny in the world. And it's not even Easter, I don't know why I went to Easter then of all the happy celebrations but thank you very much for watching guys hope you enjoy this video and uh, see you in a bit so if you have seen my videos before you will know that I before I do the starting 11 I always run through the bench and the squad players now these are the players that didn't manage to get into the first team squad but if you're building this squad then you might want to put them in um, so these guys aren't the best possible but they are some good players First of all, we have Craig Gordon. Now, this is a goalkeeper that didn't manage to get in uh, because there is actually a better one, and uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but if you know it, it's an inform. Uh, but Craig Gordon, the Celtic goalkeeper, very good goalkeeper, quite old now, but didn't manage to get into the squad. Next up is Stephen Fletcher. You guys all know him. He's not been too well at football. He lost his place at United and then moved to West Brom um, due to an illness, uh, but looks like he's fighting back, and he's doing pretty well for West Brom at the moment. Um, so... Hopefully he can get maybe a few informs playing for them now. Um, but absolute legend. Move on to the next guy. Next guy is another West Brom player. And that is James Morrison. Not the singer, but the footballer. Um, a decent player. He's kind of consistent every season and stays at the same level. Never really improved from much. Um, and I believe he has always been a silver on FIFA. He might have had a gold card one year, but I believe he stays as a silver quite consistently. Next up is Ross McCormack. Um, Ross McCormack, the Fulham striker, quite a good striker in game. I don't know what he's like in real life. I don't watch, watch the championship um, much. I tend to stay watching the um, BPL, um, or should I say EPL. Uh, but this is Ross McCormack, very decent stats and looks like a pretty solid silver to you. So uh, if you want to get him into your squad, definitely look at doing that. Next up is a fantastic right mid and that is Matt Phillips. Now Matt Phillips card looked in extremely good. 70 shot on a right mid. Uh, 75 dribbling and then that 90 pace of course is the big start. Uh, 69 uh, physical isn't actually that bad for a winger either but sadly he's not the highest rated and he didn't manage to get into the squad. Uh, it's a very good player but a bit of a shame he didn't manage to get in but uh, there's no doubt that you could use him if you want to build it. Um, and then coming up to the last two is a left back that I wanted to get in and this is Graham Shinney or great I don't know how to pronounce this, pronounce this guy's name it's quite weirdly spelled but this is Graham Shinney as you can see. Um, decent player, didn't manage to get into the squad, um, same rating as the left back we did put in but the left back that we did put in had better stats. Um, and then finally is a guy that will, I have no doubt, be an absolute success for Scotland in the future and whatever a team he stays at or moves to and that is Ryan Gold. Now Ryan Gold is a fantastic player as you can see, 86 pace, uh, 79 dribbling and 62 shot and he is 19 years old, he's got great passing as well, 73. Um, and he's one for the future as he is only 19 years old, but very, very good card. Now let's get on to the starting 11 of this team. So now we move on to the starting 11 of this team. In net, we have the goalkeeper, David Marshall. David Marshall is a Cardiff City goalkeeper, and as you can see, this is his inform. He has got his base card, which I will flash up on screen. Um, I can't see that as I'm saying this, so I don't know what his stats are on his base card. And you'll be able to see them, obviously. So there you go. There's his base card, and now we're looking at his inform. Now, his inform has got some decent stats. He's got 280 stats, and then the rest are kind of not as good as such. Um, he's got pretty bad speed for a goalkeeper. You know, you tend to look for at least plus around the 55 range, I'd say, or so. Um, I'm not too sure about what he's like in game. Quite low rating, but is Scotland's best keeper. So, decent card for an inform. Relatively cheap, I'm guessing. You're probably in the 15 grand. Uh, margin so if you can get your hands on him if you want to build this team now we move on to the left back 
In the left back position, we have Andrew Robertson. Andrew Robertson, as you can see, plays for Hull City FC, um, or Hull Tigers, as they want to become, I suppose, um, or don't want to become, should I say. Uh, but this guy's got 81 pace, 72 dribbling, 71 defence, and 70 physical. This guy is the best, or the fastest, let's say, uh, centre-back, and he will probably have to do a lot of covering, um, as the other centre-backs we have got in here, and... Am I saying centre-backs? I mean defenders. But the other defenders we have in this squad are not as pacey, let's say. They're all in the 60 range for the pace. So this guy might be doing a lot of covering for him um, and could come in quite essential. And um, yeah, I hope he plays well for you if you build this team. The guy next to him in the left centre-back position is Russell Martin. Russell Martin, as you can see, is a decent looking card once again, but really hasn't got that much to show that is outstanding. Um, he's got that 75 defence and that 73 physical and I suppose his pace isn't too bad. Um, it is a very average looking card, very average looking silver. Um, not much more to say on this guy uh, apart from he plays for Norwich and he is getting on a bit I suppose. Um, but yeah, let's move to the guy next to him. The guy next to him is Christopher Berra. If I'm saying that right, Christopher Berra, I'm not quite sure. Um, I believe that this guy plays for Ipswich City. Um, and as you can see, this guy has better defending stats. He's got that 75 defence, which is the same as, Chris, as um, Russell Martin, sorry. Um, but that 82 physical makes him quite a good, solid centre-back at the back. Um, able to muscle off a few players. And as we all know, that is quite good in uh, FIFA 16, being able to muscle off the faster players. Um, as speed isn't as important. It's more about dribbling um, and strength, I suppose, to some extent in this FIFA. So very good card to have in the back but once again fairly average um, and not the best pace so it's quite a weak pair up. If you can find a faster Scottish centre back, um, I did have a look through that you want to put in but I did have a look through as I said um, and I, 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 these guys are the best rated so I put these guys in. The guy next to him in the right back position is Alan Hutton to finish up the defence. As you can see it's an all silver defence and an informed gold uh, keeper but Alan Hutton um, got faster pace than the two centre backs, 68. Um, same physical and defending stats as Christopher Berra. Um, once again, a fairly average looking card. Um, not much more to say on him. And now let's move on to the midfield of this team. Now, as you can see, in this team, we're going to be running a three man midfield. Two of these guys were actually centre defensive mids, but I converted them into centre mids. So if you were to do that, it would cost you, but I suppose you could keep them on, uh, keep them in the CDM position um, and just play with them with a bit less chemistry as this team, I think, will still come up to 100 chemistry, even if you do have them as CDMs. Um, but first of all, we're going to go to the left centre mid of them all, and that is Charlie Adam. Now, the Stoke player is incredible in real life, and really, in fairness, isn't justified in his card. Um, he is getting on a bit once again, as a few of these players are, but Charlie Adam has got 50 pace, and personally, I do believe he has faster pace than 50 in real life, but as FIFA do, when the player gets older, less pace, um, but isn't really justified for pace, but the dribbling is 72, the shot is 78, and the passing is 81, so very good passer of the ball, um, and got a decent shot on him. He is also left footed, that's why I put him in the left footed, um, left centre mid position, so if you do need to cut up the wings with him, if he ever does cross over um, the left forward in this team, then he has got a bit of a decent cross on him with 81 passing, and he's also left footed, so it will be on his stronger foot. Now we're going to move to the central midfielder of the three so he is the central central midfielder um, and that is um i am looking at my notes that's scott brown sorry i don't know why i didn't just look at the screen obviously it's scott brown of celtic that 81 pace is a very very good looking card um makes him a very good looking card sorry that 76 dribbling also is a very nice stat on him um an all-round fairly decent stats like his lowest stat is 65 and that's his shot um, this guy does come out as a CDM, but has very, very good stats on his card that he could even be converted into a centre attacking mid. Um, I do like this guy a lot by the look of his card, and that's why I put him into the middle. Um, very good passer of the ball with 73, I suppose. It's not the worst stat, uh, but a very all-round decent player, so could do well for you. Let me know how he plays. Um, and then lastly, coming up to the right centre mid of the team, and the right centre mid of this team is 
James MacArthur. Now, James MacArthur also has fairly decent stats on his card. His lowest stat, once again, being his shot, but that is 60 rated uh, instead of 65. Um, got 65 pace, and then all of his other stats are plus 72. So his defence, his passing, his dribbling, and his physical are all fairly decent once again. Now, as I did with Charlie Adam, this guy is right-footed. So if he ever does cross over your right forward in this team, uh, does an overlapping run, then once again, he has the ability to cross it in on his stronger foot. So it's more likely that it's going to go more direct and onto your striker's head, uh, which is very important for this team as you are playing with a lone striker. Now we're going to move up into the attack. Now we come to the attacking side of this team. To finish off this team, we have a left forward, a right forward and a striker. We're going to start with the left forward and that is Stephen Naismith of Everton. Or, well, the inform is, he now plays for Norwich City, but when he got this inform, he played for Everton, if that makes any sense. Uh, but this is Stephen Naismith. As you can see, it's a fairly decent card that he's got, probably one of the better ones in the squad. Um, he's got 75, no, nope, he has not. He's got 78 pace, sorry, 80 dribbling, 78 shot, and 80 physical. His other two stats aren't the best, but as you can see, if he can dribble in with this card, um, he's got very decent physical as well, very decent if that makes any sense, but all round looks like a fairly decent uh, in form and yeah, he never got the playing time at Everton but as you can see he's now moved to Norwich and I believe he did score on his debut against Liverpool and hopefully with more playing time there is more chance of him getting an in form so good luck to him and uh, fingers crossed for another in form in the future. Now we move on to the right forward of this team, the right forward is Snodgrass. Now I forget this guy's first name and I haven't actually wrote it down for some reason. I don't know why I've not. Um, but let's just call him Snodgrass for now. As you can see, he has not got the best pace. It's quite a fairly slow team, so if you're decent at passing, that might come in essential. Passing the ball around this team and maybe getting in a few crosses to your lone striker, as I mentioned before. Um, but as you can see, he's got good passing of 78 dribbling. Uh, 78 dribbling, sorry. He's got good passing of 76. He's got decent dribbling in 78. Um, physical's not too bad at 72, and his shots 74 as well. So not the fastest player, but if you can do a good dribbling run with him, maybe a few passing about, he's going to do the job and he's going to put in a shift whilst he's there for you. Now we come to the final player, and that is your lone striker up top. That is Stephen Fletcher. Stephen Fletcher is not the best card let's admit it um but this was his inform from his time at sunderland he has now gone out on loan if you don't know to marseille um which is a bit of a shame because i don't know if he's going to get playing time in that marseille team but as you can see this is stephen fletcher's card um in form 79 rated he's got 70 pace on his card 74 dribbling 81 shot which is very very nice on a loan striker up top um, and then 75 physical. Now, I don't know how tall this guy is to be precise, but as I mentioned before, a lot of crossing balls will be coming into this guy. Um, so, fingers crossed, he puts in a good job, and I can see him being a fairly decent lone striker up top. Um, as I know, he is relatively tall. I think he might be in the six foot gap or taller. So, he'll be able to head the ball, and if it comes down to his feet, then with that 81 shot, he'll be able to get a good toe peg on it and maybe get it into a top corner somewhere and get you a few goals. So that has been my best possible Scottish squad um, built for you. It's not the best, but I like doing these more unusual ones. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, um, even subscribe if you've enjoyed it that much. Uh, it really helps me make these videos and show that you guys are liking them. And uh, get your team below and thank you for watching. See you in a bit, guys.